Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities XL and yeah, finally welcome back to Waterfront City. Yeah, it's been a while since my last episode. I'm still very, very busy at work and it's it's like the first time after a week I I had time to play a bit and yeah, I prepared this area here because today I'd like to design a park, a huge park. This is going to be, as you may remember, my central park area that will, yeah, it's like it's cutting through the city. So what I want to do here is, yeah, it, it should be something, something very different to the rest of the city. Uh, there will be a lot of green, a bit of water, a lot of trees but with a different layout and I thought a bit about what park layout I would like to do here and basically I have two ideas and I want to try one of them today when it looks good in the end I will not try the other one so yeah I, I did a little sketch again like oftentimes when I build stuff and yeah I want to try this now here at this area this will be the first part later I will expand this whole park thing all away uh, all along this area down here so but for the for today this area here is going to be enough all right so the first thing I need to do is I guess is to smooth the terrain a bit yeah it's very bumpy over there so what we should do is we should take the decorations tool, the grass decorations to smooth the terrain a bit. Oh, I'm not sure if it, yeah, here it is a bit difficult. Uh, the texture tools have a bit problems under these freeway parts especially the connectors so this caused some major bam bumpiness over here maybe if we give it another try we can smooth this a bit more just a bit yeah we can do the rest manually i think yeah it should be enough anyway probably uh, i don't think so don't think so finally we should we should build a road manually so uh, something simple something like that just straight yeah this here should have the right level and then let's connect this here to the pedestrian pass now we should be able to smooth this whole area let's take the terraforming tool again ah sorry not the terraforming tool the the decorations tool. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, this is something we can work with, I guess. So we should expand this over he What's over there? Okay. This is just in case we need to build a curved road again over here. But actually, no, this is already, everything is done over here. We are good, so we can remove that. Let's do this again. All right, everything should be nice, smooth and flat now. Okay, so the next thing is I need, yeah, I guess I need temporarily a curved, uh, a straight road over here. Something like that. That's this little pedestrian pass should uh, should be aligned to the center of the circle. So and yeah, I want to work with two different sizes of pedestrian passes here inside of this, and I'm going to start with this one. And we need to build this parallel 
to this pedestrian pass. So let's see. Let's build this short straight part. And right next to it, I want to build a larger one, a wider one, sorry. But with more space to this. So let's probably start to build this one first. Just, just a very, very short, very tiny part. And it would be cool if we... Oh, yeah. This seems to work. <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems to work. Okay. Let's build a curve. Something that is parallel to this road. Probably. Yeah, we should build a short straight part first. Because as we all know, then it is very easy to build a smooth curve. And also over there, we can... Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem to have a bit more space over there. Yeah, I think it's it's a good idea. Yeah, this park layout, my first idea, will be very organic, but in a different way. But I think some of you guys will know this design already, I have in my mind. Um if you follow my City Skyline series. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, so from here, I should try to, yeah, to expand this. Let's start with this one. Uh, with a short straight part first, so we can build a curve instantly. Right, now let's switch to the curvy road tool and build something like this. This should be, yeah, I just take a look at my sketch at the moment. Yeah, it should end over here and then we need a curve. And then we should connect this a short straight part let's do it this way so we have a nice smooth curve between these two parts and oh saving so we need another curve this way all right so this, yeah, in a few moments, things will be really obvious how, how my design idea is, what it will look like. So let's put the straight part here, but longer. Longer. Okay, yeah, I guess this should work. I just eyeballing things at the moment. Uh, it could be possible that I will rebuild this again. It's just my first try to figure out the right, yeah, proportions and all the kinds of kind of stuff. So let's see. I'm not sure if this will look good. So we want connect to connect this down there with a nice curve. So let's build. A road piece parallel to this pedestrian pass. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, one thing I should do first is I want to have uh, yeah, a specific amount of space between this pedestrian pass and this pedestrian pass. So the it's like a minimum space and it's this year. So before I continue, I like to draw a road like this, probably. It is not necessary to be perfect. Yeah, so now I have marked the, the space I need to leave between 
uh, this road and the pedestrian pass I'm building here and the other pedestrian passes I will build in a few moments. And also over there. Let's just eyeball this again. Does it look similar? I think so. I think so. Ooh, sorry. So let's build something parallel. Like I said, a bit away from this so that we will have a slight curve. All right. Let's give it a try. Yeah. So, and from here, we want to connect this to this pedestrian pass simply. All right. So, I'm not sure if this curve is good. Uh, let's see. I want to continue with this small one. One of the problems here in Cities XL, of course, is we cannot connect roads with such a steep angle like in city skylines. That's pretty cool in city skylines, but I think it should work uh, despite that. So what I want to do is uh, technically I'd like to build another pedestrian path that goes like this. So it's inter constantly, it will constantly intersect with uh, this pedestrian pass, but of course not this way, you know, because this will not work. So instead, yeah, we need to remove this now. I guess these two guys are too close together. Yeah. So we need to remove a short part over here so we can remove that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, whoa. <laughs> Camera out of control. Uh, let's build a short part again. Or actually, we should connect this over there. Or not? Yeah, this way. So, yeah, we're going to build intersections like this. And then I will simply continue over here. So yeah, let's let's eyeball this from here. Yeah, with the slide curve later. So yeah, it 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 looks a bit like that. This road continues uh, this way, so this should be fine. And I'm going to build another one over here. Yeah, it would be cool if you could build intersection like this, but this will not work. So let's keep it simple. Just like that. And if we build a curve, oh yeah, this could work. Let's remove this guy. this part because uh, I want to build a curve that like yeah that goes as close as possible to this pedestrian pass so what we gonna need to do for this is we just need to expand this here a bit more with a bit different angle yeah this should should work that was probably a bit too much that's a bit trial and error right now. Yeah, it definitely goes in the right direction. Yeah, so let's give it another try. And it would be cool when, yeah, probably we, what we should do is, yeah. Let's put a straight part right over here, right uh, facing the center of this curve, like, like, yeah, 
so that we have symmetry, you know? All right. So. I think this curve needs to be a bit wider and sharper, I would say. So, yeah, I think I will do a little break right now and I will finish the rest of the pedestrian passes over here and then I will be back. All right, I'm back and yeah, I think now you can see what I mean. Uh, this park design actually based on the flow city design uh, of my city skyline city. So uh, yeah, I pretty much adapted the design of, of the city layout of my city skyline cities uh, city to this park because I think it could fit very well as well because you know I I would would say it will look pretty cool to have these kind of pedestrian paths fl yeah like flowing across the map between these circles uh, it, it could fit well to this very organic layout but it, it's different it's a new element and this is something that is very important in my opinion for this central park it's it's something totally different in this city so the whole layout should be something different as well uh yeah so let's continue the next thing i'd like to add are areas for uh, ponds or la little lakes and also the areas for yeah, for trees as well. Very, very dense trees. And these these very dense tree areas will be here in the middle of each, yeah, each shape, you could say. So uh, let's go. Let's start with the pond. And for this, I'm going to build a road or a pedestrian pass sorry parallel to this one let's try to keep the same amount of space like over here so yeah this should be enough just a simple curved road something parallel to that and also over here it's probably this will be a huge lake or pond i'm not sure about this actually maybe this will be something different in the end i'm just trying around at the moment so let's continue with the straight pedestrian pass something like that just following the road, perfect. Uh, this is a bit too long. And this is a bit too short. We want to build a nice, a nice curve. Yeah, something like that. And let's just build a connection down here. Uh, yeah, this should work the problem is if both parts are a bit too close together you will get an intersection like this this looks not good so uh, you need to leave a bit space and then it should probably work in our case it doesn't seems to work as well so let's just remove damn it so let's do it the other way around Let's add a connection over there. Probably I can solve this with a curve at the end. Yeah, if we just build a curve. Uh, it's yeah, it's too too steep. Too steep, but probably we can just build ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's okay. Let's leave it this way for the moment. And I want to change the texture. Ooh, yeah. 
I should probably reconsider this. But yeah, for the moment, this is okay. I want to add another lake over there. How much space we left between? Yes. Over here, it will be a bit difficult because here is not so much space anymore. Let's put something parallel. A straight part. Ah, it's too far away, actually. And this was too close. Yeah, something like that. I think this is okay if we expand this a bit more. Yeah, here we will have the same problem. Let's see. We will somehow connect this later. All right. Something like this. Yeah, of course, it, will, it would be cooler if we... Yeah, it should be one part because... Uh, or just a straight road parallel to both. Yeah, because it's like this small pedestrian pass should be like the extension to this large pedestrian pass. So. That's the reason why it should not, this one it should not create a curve like this, you know? So, because it's parallel or should be almost parallel uh, towards or to these two pedestrian passes. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean, what I'm talking about. So, how much time we have left? Not so much, so. Um, it will not do so many st things in this episode anymore. Or should I do another break? Hmm. Yeah, this will not work. Let's see. I think it will, it will be not possible for me to finish the whole park this episode because there is still a lot of work to do, especially with the decorations later. Ah, this doesn't look so well. Um, but I can probably finish the, the general shape. So, yeah, the next thing I want to do is I want to add... A pedestrian pass inside of this here. Something like that. So. Yeah, let's quickly create this. Also over here, parallel to this pedestrian pass. Ooh, this was not very nice. <laughs> not very parallel. Let's put the connections. Okay, this creates weird connections. So probably, yeah, when I change the texture, everything is good. Oh, so probably also... A different way should work over here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I will try this later. Uh, yeah, I will add additional pedestrian passes inside of this now. And when this is done, I will be back. And I will add some uh, textures and so. Yeah, let's see. All right, I'm back and uh, personally, I really like the pedestrian pass layout over here. It looks pretty cool. And now I'm going to add some, yeah, some decorations. Uh, yeah, let's 
take these water textures first. I'm not sure about these kind of lakes. They are, they are pretty huge. Uh, I'm not sure if this will look good in the end. I will just throw some some decorations into uh, into this area now. It's, it's, I think this needs to be really dense, really, really dense. Probably I going to add, ah, this is the one I used over there. Yeah, let's, hmm. not enough trees. Uh, probably I going to use the ploppable trees instead here later. Yeah, but for the moment, it should be enough. It's just to to yeah to check out if the layout will look good in the end. So they are going to build some huge forests or so, and around them we are going to add just the green grass textures, something like that. Oh yeah, and I consider that this probably should something different. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Probably not. Probably it's good. Wow, yeah, this looks pretty clean. Pretty cool. I could really imagine to expand this around these circles. Of course, we need a lot more decorations, a lot more trees. I think a row of palms would be nice following the pedestrian passes. And I think it, it will be a better idea to add additional trees inside of this area. Probably I can plop some trees and use this texture as little addition or so. This could probably work. At the moment, it's a bit too empty, but it looks really, really interesting. And I, I, I think I need some additional adjustments over here so that this central station uh, looks a bit more like that it fits to this layer. Probably, I think it's probably enough to build a curve over here, a pedestrian pass. Maybe the, the here, this guy, size 10, and then a little curve from here to there. So. I think this could be already enough. And yeah, I hope you like this part too. I think I will I will will try or will continue this. So let's forget about version 2 or uh, idea number 2. So <laughs> let's throw this away. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, from here looks already pretty cool. I think this this have potential. This have a nice potential. So yeah. Let's close all this. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.